Hey there, everybody. P. Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility, because it is Wednesday, right? New reviews each and every Wednesday. Today, we're going to take a look at a uh, fairly newish album. I believe when did this release? August 23rd on Charisma Records. This is the third full length studio album from this Norwegian band. The band is Mir, M as in Mary, E E R. The album is Wheels Within Wheels. Here is the uh, album here. So uh, Charisma only likes to send me the booklets and the CD. They never send the tray card, so I don't have it in the digipack or anything like that. This is all I ever get from them. I don't know why. I don't know why they can't just send the, the whole kit and caboodle so I can put it in a jewel case and store it on my shelves like a normal CD and show you the whole thing. But it is what it is, right? So anyway, let's uh, take a look here at the booklet. This is basically a, it's a duo, a brother-sister duo as well as a whole bunch of other musicians. And I would call the band Mir, they're a prog band, but there's a healthy dose of pop in their music. So again, the band comprised of uh, Johanna, Johanna Nesdal. She's got like all these other, Johanna Marguerite Kapperson Nesdal. Johanna Nesdal on lead vocals, backing vocals, and then her brother Knut, Nesdal, lead vocals, backing vocals, and keyboards. You got uh, Ivan Stromstad on electric and acoustic guitars, um, additional keyboards, programming, backing vocals. Uh, Aza Re, I think it is, violin and backing vocals. Ingvild Sanvel, viola, backing vocals. Ole, oh boy, Jotstal. I'm trying to read this as best I can. It's small writing and it's in it's in a weird kind of topography here. So it's or the lettering is kind of weird. Uh, acoustic, grand piano, acoustic piano, grand piano, uh, keyboards, programming, electric organ, pipe organ, and backing vocals. Uh, Morton Strup Strupit, electric bass, backing vocals, and Mats Fjeld uh, Lilla Lillehog on drums, percussion, and backing vocals. Already then. Um, yeah, so these guys are a prog band. This is the first time I've ever listened to uh, Mir before. Prog band, but they fully know how to create pop hooks and uh, just big shimmering arrangements and whatnot. So while some of the songs here, and we've got uh, 11 tracks in total, totally do have like that vintage prog feel. Like you get little bits of... Uh, Oh, I don't know, like Camel and maybe Yes and things from time to time. But <clears throat> for the most part, what I really get out of their music, um, and again, it's not like they really sound like them, but they kind of embrace atmospheric rock, pop, and prog in the same way, is Anathema. Especially like the more, the, the last handful of Anathema albums, right? So if you really like that kind of like male and female vocal counterpart with soaring melodies and harmonies, lush keyboards and guitars and things like that, it's unmistakable choruses that just kind of stick in your brain. If you like Anathema for all those elements, you're going to really dig this band. Uh, I've listened to this now numerous times. It's like every time I hear it, I'm hearing more things and I'm liking more about it. Because normally, uh, you know, the first listener to it, I was kind of like, yeah, a couple good things here and there, but it's not really my cup of tea. But the more I listen to it, the more I think it's really, really good. Um, so I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll read a little bit here. So fronted by the captivating brother and sister duo Knut and Johanna Nesdal, Mir returns with their highly anticipated third album, Wheels Within Wheels. This new release is a masterclass in blending symphonic prog and intelligent pop showcases in the band's exceptional musicianship, intricate vocal harmonies, and grandiose melodies and this comes on the heels of their sophomore album playing house which came out three years ago so some of the tracks to look out for here which are and again the instrumentation on some of these songs is fairly intricate but on others it's more atmospheric kind of soaring arrangements and but the main reason to listen to this band are the lead vocals i mean it's just outstanding stuff the uh the kickoff track is easily my favorite song on the album, and it's the song I, I play over and over again because it's just so good. Chains of Changes, Ugh. it's not even that long. I think it's like three minutes and change, something like that. But you, you like it's one of those songs you wish. Actually, no, I'm sorry, it's six minutes and change. Um, but you just you wish it was longer, and just a great chorus that just sticks here, and then you can't quite pull it out just so good uh behave is good take me to the river come to the light is another one of those songs that just 
it, like like those great anathema songs you just you're you're marveling at how good the vocal melodies are layered whether regardless of who's singing on on these and a lot of these songs they kind of their their voices kind of mesh so well that if you're not really paying attention you would almost think it's one singer right um, just really good. Uh, Come to Light is great. Golden Circle is another really good one. And then towards the end, you got uh, World of Wonder, Mother, Something in the Water, and this is the end. Just really, really good stuff. Um, you know, don't expect, like, and, and there's plenty of cool keyboards and guitar work and the, the, the bass and the drumming and all that stuff. You got nice violin. But to me, musically speaking, it's more so like layering of all this cool stuff this great ensemble work here allowing the two vocalists to really kind of shine that's what it's all about so you, you do get like i said nice playing from everybody here but this is not about like big long tracks like i said the you got this is the end which is a closing uh, epic that's like nine minutes and, and the opening change of changes is six and change everything else is anywhere from like yeah, five about four or five minutes long you got world of wonders a little bit shorter but yeah it's just really good stuff here and uh i'm just amazed at the display the vocal prowess on here and how this band has really managed to create such captivating and engaging vocal melodies and choruses that's what it's all about so again you know not something that normally i would be like oh wow check that out but i like a good hook just as much as anybody else does whether it's a pop band or a prog band or, or a metal band or hard rock band, whatever. And, you know, at first I was kind of uh, wanting a little bit more musically from this stuff. Like, well, where's this long solos and where the, where's the big intricate passages? You get it in like bite-sized chunks, but it's not all about that. It's all about the vocals. So I would highly recommend checking this out. Uh, again, it's called Wheels Within Wheels from Mir. And it's on Charisma Records. I'm going to give this four out of five star. Really, really good. Highly entertaining, highly engaging, memorable songs, and it gets better with every listen. Uh, I've, I've seen lots of reviews for this, and a lot of people are really, really digging this a lot. And, uh, yeah, it's it's prog with a capital P, but it's PP, prog and pop, my initials as well. Capital prog, capital pop, blended together perfectly. That's how you, you mesh Prague and pop uh, they list some other uh it says for fans of anecdote and porcupine tree bent knee major parkinson newer anathema wobbler so on and so forth uh i would throw like maybe magenta in there maybe you know some kate bush and other stuff you know that's just yeah just pretty cool stuff so go check it out if you've heard it already let us know what you think down in the comments below if you haven't i'll drop the Bandcamp link so you can go listen and then let us know what you think and visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on YouTube all together all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alert of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. Also down below, we got the links to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations, our merch page, our Cameo page, and the button to join for channel memberships here on SOT. All those things help us out here on the channel. So for those of you who are participating, thank you very much. We appreciate it. And we'll see you soon here with more stuff. I am P. Pardo. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.